okay, my hair is not doing the things that I want it to do, and I have to get my passport photo today. Great! I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Yeah! Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm doing the Severus Snape book tag and this book tag is created by M.A. from the Blonde Archives. I will leave her channel in the description down below as well as the people that I tag. But if you're not tagged and you really want to do this, just go ahead, but I don't know. These are just the people that I'm tagging and let's get started with question number one. Question number one, Severus Snape is always dressed in black. Which book with a black cover is your favorite? I actually don't really have that many black books. I believe I have like around seven or eight and this is absolutely my favorite black book and it is Prodigy by Mary Lou. It is black but it is also blue and I absolutely love that. Uh, it just has like this symbol on it and I just, oh, it's just a beautiful hardcover. It feels really nice. It is very like it has a very great texture to it and when you remove the black cover you also have a beautiful blue hardcover book underneath it so this is definitely my favorite black book that I own. Question number two, name a book character who you love as much as Severus Snape loves Lily and name a character who you hate as much as Severus Snape hates Harry. So for the character that I love I have Rich from Maybe Someday which is our love interest in the book. Maybe Someday is by Colleen Hoover, I didn't say that but okay. I just love Rich. He is so sweet and oh I just love him so much. So yeah, Rich. And a character that I hate, I have to agree with M.A. I absolutely hate Umbridge. She was so annoying but I don't only want to say uh, Umbridge because I mean that's just like an obvious choice. Like everyone hates Umbridge. She's just awful. So I also wanted to pick another character and I have Thomas from The Maze Runner by James Dashner. I hated Thomas as a main character, like he's not like a bad person so that I would hate him in like that way, but he's just such an annoying main character and that's why I hate him. I absolutely loved Miho and Newt in the series and those were like the only two characters that I loved in this series. I hated Thomas and you watch everything from his point of view, so I'm not a big fan of this series as well, it's just nope. Question number three, Severus Snape was the headmaster of Hogwarts for a short while. As a headmaster, which books would you put on the mandatory read list? So of course Harry Potter, but that's an obvious choice because everyone would love it. Um, but for the other book that I want to pick for this one, I'm gonna pick Love Letters to the Death by Ava Delaria. I've never mentioned this book on booktube, like I've, I never have, but I read this in the end of 2014 and I really enjoyed it. Uh, I believe that it's quite similar to Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky and he also sort of like guided Ava Delaria with re writing this book. I'm not too sure, but I really liked it. I liked the letters and this was also kind of like an emotional read, but you also learned things. So definitely this one because it is like the closest thing that you can get to literature, but it's still like YA and fun. Question number four, as a Death Eater, Severus Snape has the dark mark. Which character who also has tattoos is your favorite tattoos? I, I said that really weird. Okay, but I don't really know a character that has t t tattoos. How do I say this word? Tattoos. I think that um, Josh from Isla and the Happily Ever After has those, but I'm not too sure. But otherwise, I will definitely pick Josh because he's cute and adorable and he draws things so beautifully. Question number five. Severus Snape made an unbreakable vow with Narcissa Malfoy to protect Draco Malfoy. Which book would you protect with your life? I want all my books to be protected and shit, but if I had to choose, I might pick Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Maas because this is absolutely one of my favorite fantasy books of all time. I've only read up until the second book in the Throne of Glass series and I love the cover and this book was amazing but I also have a second pick for this question. So I believe that my second choice is the best one because this is the most expensive book that I own and it's also the most special because this is a first edition of many editions to come and that is of course the Harry Potter illustrated edition and this is the Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone if you're from America. I just would definitely pick this one first if there would be a fire at my house or something like that. Question number six, Salazar, Salazar Slytherin wanted to ban Half-Bloods and Muggleborns from Hogwarts. Which book do you want to ban from Bookster? So I don't really have a book that I want to ban. I mean, everyone likes different books, so I don't think that you could really ban one. Question seven, Severus Snape is part of the Death Eaters as well as the Order of the Phoenix. Which book characters would you like in your group if you had to fight a group like the Death Eaters. So I got three characters for my group and they're all women. Like, what? First of all, I got Selena Sidorthian from the Throne of Glass series because obviously she's such a badass female character. 
She could kill anyone that comes into my path. She has amazing powers. Then I have Mare Barrow from Red Queen because of her amazing power. And if you've read the book, you know what power she has. It is pretty amazing. And then last but not least, I got Amani Alhisa. Alhisa is her name? Yeah. Uh, from Rebel of the Sands because, again, she's got something pretty interesting going on in this book. She has something that would be very helpful if we would live in a desert. So, well, maybe I should rethink that choice because I don't live in a desert. But if I would, she would be awesome. But she's also like a really good shooter. So it doesn't matter. She's just amazing. Yeah. I pick her. And then the last question, as a potions master, Severus Snape brews a lot of potions. Which of these two potions would you like to drink? So the first potion is a potion that would allow you to make reading books your job, and the second potion is a potion that would allow you to write a book. So I have tried many times to write a book, I had these ideas when I was younger, never happened. I did write until page 70 once, which was pretty impressive, but I couldn't finish the book. And reading as my job, that would be exhausting. Like, I'm already dead after reading 80 pages in one day. I love reading books, don't get me wrong, but making it my job would be... I wouldn't say awful, but it would make it less fun. Like, sometimes I read 50 pages, sometimes I read 10, sometimes I read 100. Like, it is so different, so I wouldn't want reading as my job. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you also want to follow me on social media, you can do that by clicking the links in the description down below. I have Goodreads, I have Snapchat, I have Instagram, so you guys can follow me on all of those social media platforms. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!